Now, many local businesses are struggling to stay afloat during the coronavirus pandemic without federal relief funds. But now a new report from the Washington Post says that a lot of that stimulus money ended up going to big businesses that already had millions in the bank. News ace Monique Riego spoke to a local business owner and has their reaction. Well, according to the report, around $1 billion was given to these bigger businesses, but around only $120 million has been returned. So for local business owners, that is really just kind of a slap in the face as these bigger companies prosper while they suffer. Well, we closed down um, on the day that the governor ordered the um, the shelter in place. Tim Kirkpatrick, the owner of Waveline Surf, Skate and Snow Shop, is in the same position a lot of small businesses are trying to survive while also seeking help from the federal government. I didn't even get to apply for about two weeks and the money ran out a day later. While the government unveiled a $369 billion relief program to help local mom and pops, a new report released by the Washington Post shows a big chunk of that money went to big businesses, some with up to 500 employees and several whose CEOs made upwards of 10 to $15 million a year. Meanwhile, Kirkpatrick and the Carmel Valley store he's owned for 27 years have yet to receive a dime. It's a little bizarre to read in the paper that the Lakers are a small <laughs> business and some of these restaurant chains. The LA Lakers worth $4 billion have since returned the $4.6 million the company received as part of the stimulus package. Others have also followed suit. I wasn't anticipating the bigger businesses taking all the money. Once we got further along in the process, I guess I understand how that happened. The full list of big companies has yet to be released, but Kirkpatrick hopes that changes. As soon as that gets released, they have to give it back because it looks so ridiculous. And um, there's probably tons of those out there. As for him and his shop wave lines, I'm working harder to make a lot less money um, than I ever have. They're trying to stay afloat with curbside pickup and online ordering. All he can do is hope they get some sort of stimulus relief and soon. Yeah, I'm just trying to get creative and be in the moment and do what I can uh, to show up at work and to show up for my family. And the federal government is in the process of trying to make some of these bigger companies give the money back, even though they aren't making all of their names public. Now, as for Wavelines, they are doing curbside service. So if you would like to support them, you can always call them with an order or go to Instagram or email them. Monique Riego, News 8. All right, Monique, thank you. Well, today, a nonprofit that's been helping children for more than a decade stepped up to help San Diego families in need. Miracle Babies held a drive, a diaper drive through giveaway today in their parking lot in Kearney Mesa. Families pulled up with a number on their dashboard, indicating just how many diapers they needed, and then volunteers loaded them up. We want to make sure that we help every parent in need right now, especially with COVID-19, this pandemic. But this is our first day and we never expected these many cars to be here. But as you can tell, there are a lot of people that need need help. Miracle Baby says this won't be the last diaper drive through event that they hold for our local families. Well, tonight, artists, performers and stars finished up a marathon 26 hour long benefit live stream, all to raise money for the fight against coronavirus. The event kicked off last night with a talk from Oprah Winfrey. Artists and celebrities performed and spoke to the audience throughout the night and today. We need each other and we do better when we work together. That's never been more clear to me as I have seen the courage and dignity of the first responders, the healthcare workers. Called to Unite raised money for the organizations Give Directly and Points of Light, which both contribute to the ongoing response to COVID-19.